So now let's talk about how you actually uh, create the effects chains and how you program the parameters inside the algorithms of the Kurzweil PC3 effects section. The uh, thing I'm playing right now is a program called Alpha Centauri. It has a lot of animation, you know, as you hold the notes. And what these are, these are cascading flangers that are all going very slowly. And they keep coming back. So we didn't just invent a stomp box flanger, but we actually put together a whole bunch of different algorithms that do flanging, but they also do things very specifically and uh, in, a, in, in a way that allows you to be very uh, complex. Um, this a flanger inside here is, has um, uh, uh, a left and right uh, delays that are all um, preset uh, separately uh, It's many events. So let, let's start with a simple example of a flanger, let's say. Let's choose our program 999, uh, our default program here, and let's um, put a string key map on it. I'm choosing for a flanger, I want something uh, similar to when you start with a, when you start with a, a, a filter. You want to have something, because it subtracts sounds, you want to have something with a lot of uh, frequency content, not something very uh, narrow like, a, like a, 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 a pure sine wave. So let's take uh, the, the strings and we'll go to the effects page here, program effects, and I've created an insert uh, here called example soft flange, just so we can start with something. This will be uh, provided uh, in, uh, in, in the package here that, that you get in order to watch this video. And uh, this is a, a quick flanger that's not really doing any flanging. If I take, uh, I can always hit the effects bypass and hear the real sound and I hit the effects bypass again and I can hear the affected sound. We can hear that there's some phase cancellation going on um, and that's the purpose of a flanger. So just let's delve into editing a chain. It's, the insert is 1037 exa uh, example soft flange and here I am on the edit, the chain edit page. This is the main page. There's right now there's one effect assigned to it but I could add another effect as well and I can also select a different effect for this particular uh, uh, chain. So let's, uh, before we get into editing this flanger, let's select some uh, presets and make a chain for my sound. Uh, there are uh, hundreds to choose from and the first, starting from one, again I can use numeric entry and type directly. Um, I have, I have um, reverbs and I have um, everything from the, 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 the reverbs to the uh, complicated changes you'll see or, or for, the, for the effects uh, we have reverbs and uh, and then we also have delays and you have as we scroll through we can see there's chorus delays and there are flangers and phasers and panners and even uh, rotary cabinets so each of these uh, you can get to know this list of effects uh, of the many hundreds to choose from and we can pick one. I decided to, let's, let's pick this one. It's called Flam Delay Background. It's a chorus delay and reverb combination. Now, I can add to this. If I want to put distortion at the end of this, we might be able to do add some distortion. So here, I'm on the main page, and you can see the next soft button says Insert. That means I want to insert another effect into this chain. Uh, so uh, if I say yes, then look, all of a sudden I have another um, another uh, effect in a chain and now I have two effects that are going to go together. Uh, I think that I wanted to have my next effect happen after and not before and what it did was put it before so I'm going to say remove this one and I'm going to um, actually scroll cursor forward and I now have a blank uh, area and I can now insert one there and so now all of a sudden it's going to insert another effect in the chain so I've now added a chain and why don't I add distortion here? So all of a sudden I've taken a very simple sound 
and made it a lot of effects. I'm actually now using each of these blocks is worth two of the 16 effects units are available at once. And this, so this is a four unit chain and I'm editing the one that has two in it, box two. <laughs> Okay, that's nice. If I like this chain, I can say exit, and it'll ask me to save this chain. So again, we already know how to do this. We can uh, um, uh, rename this, and I'm going to call this example 2, soft flange. And I will, uh, it's already been edited, so it asked me to replace my existing one, but I, I want to move to the next one. So I'm going to, uh, the next first free, I'll double press plus and minus and it'll find the first free uh, location for this particular chain and I say yes and there it is. So now my default program that I've been editing now has a new chain that I made. Uh, let's look at the modulators. That's the next page here. So we, we've seen the main page of the chain and I can insert and remove blocks as many as I want to. Let's just look at what I can do. I can keep inserting blocks as many as I want to. Uh, and you can make very, very long chains. Eventually, you'll end up with um, a, very, uh, a very thick sound that uses a lot of the resources. We don't always have to, but uh, in, in some cases, you can stack all of your resources. If you program something for a very long time, you can make one patch that does a very specific thing. Now, it's nice to have uh, uh, all that flexibility. So I'll remove this block, and we're back to uh, what, we, what we had there. One way to do a modulation, actually, let's, um, let's add a, a modulator. That's what this mod page is for. If you, if you touch the mod page, all of a sudden you get control sources that will control all the parameters inside that chain. And you can see uh, I can choose the box 1, which is the, the chorus delay reverb effect called flam delay background. And I have the first parameter that I can change is the wet dry mix. And I can actually adjust it now. I can say zero. Now I have just the distortion from box two that's sounding. And I can add a real time control. Maybe it's my sustain pedal. Maybe my sustain pedal will make it 100% wet. Well, that's not too exciting because the sustain pedal also sustains my sound. Why don't I use uh, the sostenuto pedal, which won't sustain any sounds if they're not sounding. Now all of a sudden, I can add this delay whenever I hit the pedal. Like that. That's just one example of the mods. Every single parameter inside the algorithm can be adjusted. And you have uh, an entire page, uh, three pages of mods that you can add. Um, so that's how you add the mods. But we didn't make this sound to begin with. Let's look at how you can edit the actual effect that's inside the chain first. I've created this little template called Example Soft Flange. And if I hit Edit, we can see that there's one block in this chain. It's called Effect 234 soft edge flange. And if I hit edit again, I'm actually editing all the parameters that make up that particular flanger. I find this very important. I was touching on before that, that, that it's not just a, a softbox flanger, but it's a, it's a, it's a completely generalized uh, idea of a flanger that has everything in specific units to the tenth of a degree on the LFO phases. There are four taps in this one, for example. I have my wet dry mix set to um, um, the the uh, inverse waveform, 50% wet. And I have an LFO tap uh, that's set to 100% wet. So I'm getting a lot, if I hit the effects bypass, hear it without the effect, and with the effect, I can hear a lot of phase cancellation. Now a flanger is when that phase cancellation moves around because the, the, the delayed signal is changing its speed. And that's why these, these are attached to LFOs. And I can see on the chain parameter 3 page, there's an excursion amount. Why don't I add some excursion to that? Just one millisecond of excursion along this LFO is going to give me a deep flange. Now that's a, it's a very powerful effect. Just, just taking one delay tap and moving it by 0.5 milliseconds 
uh, and having them mixed together is very powerful. Now, I could spend a long time programming a very uh, complex thing because this particular algorithm, which is one of probably 75, uh, has four taps to work with, and each of them has these, these great uh, parameters to work with. So that's how we en can end up with uh, programs such as, uh, such as the Alpha Centauri that, have, that, that can take a very simple sound and uh, turn it into such a, uh, would you say, um, otherworldly effect. So a little time spent with the flanger, and I said, that's good, and I saved that, those parameters. Um, here's another one that went so, um, this is called the whale call. This one got very loud. Some of the phase cancellation would happen so that the end result was extremely loud. And so I had it to add to my chain the two, the two flanger delays, and then I had to add a compressor because the result of the effect made everything so loud that I just added a compressor at the end to keep everything under wraps. And so now I have this nice pad that put through some of the effects would have just been unplayable because it got super loud. Uh, if I remove this, and now here I have my flange delay. Every now and then, I'm just getting, things get a little bit too loud for me. So the compressor was what made it softer. So we're working with uh, very uh, uh, subtle details and fine uh, sound sculpting that's available. All of this is in here, right? The ability to take your pristine sample from the Take 6 vocals and turn them into an otherworldly sound using VAST and then using the effects to, um, to uh, completely uh, compose the precise stages of your reverb and put chains of all kinds of effects in there. It's all here, right under the front panel uh, in your PC3X.